Hello everyone, it's Rose, and I am coming back to you with another unboxing, but this is happening in my bedroom because uh, my cleaning lady is here and she is cleaning the rest of the apartment. So this is the first um, unboxing I'm doing for a diamond painting that has been sent to me for review. Now the company that um, asked me to do a review is Victoria's Moon Diamond Painting in the UK. I don't believe that they're a bricks and mortar store. You order from their website and then you have the product shipped to you from their supplier in China. They ship by DHL. Now this, um, I believe it was July 9th that uh, they approached me uh, and I chose the diamond painting that I wanted that day and um, or the next day. They shipped it on July 17th. Today is July 19th and it just arrived a few minutes ago. Now I promised that I would do the review, like a complete review. It's going to be just the same sort of review that I do for all of the other diamond paintings that I unbox. So I'll be looking at um, just the overall packaging, the canvas, the drills, the, um, the kit, and everything else. So the first thing is, um, first shipping was very fast, two days, uh, from China, which is really quite something. And um, it's very well packaged. So there was no problem with the outer packaging. The inner packaging is fine. It looks like it was just a little bit creased here, but let's take a look inside at what we have. Um, okay, so they wanted me to do a big diamond painting, so that's it. The box is in very good shape, apart from this one little crunch here. Uh, and they did double tape both ends, so that if there had been like a liquid spill or anything, that would help to protect the diamond painting from getting liquid on it, but that was not an issue. There was no liquid spill, I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm going to move over to the opposite end of my bed here and um, I'll unroll this so that you can see these. Oh, look at all of this! Oh, goodness. All right, first I'm going to show you what's in the kit that I received. So um, I got two standard kits, so one of them, well let's open one up. Alright, kit comes with the bent nose tweezers that we're used to receiving, comes with a single placer diamond pen, it also has a multi placer on the end. I don't know what that is. Nine, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it comes with a regular green boat and a piece of wax. And it comes with a piece of sticker so that you can cut this up to label your bags. If you use bags or whatever your storage containers are for diamond painting, you can use the sticker. So that's nice. Um, and like I say, there are two of those. And the kits are exactly the same. But what this one has in addition is they sent me the premium pen. Now I um, I personally have not found these pens work really well for me. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. But um, oh, and it looks like some of the mel the wax on the tip melted off. But that's okay. Uh, because I probably won't be using this anyway. But um, anyway, it's a lovely it's a lovely pen. You pay quite a bit of money if you buy one of these uh, on its own. Um, so that's a that's a very nice bonus that they've offered here. And I'll just show it to you up close. So I think this is um, off these pens are also used for doing nail art. So it's got a very fine tip on the end. And then it's got wax, which, like I say, has melted a little bit. But um, so the wax, you can pick up the, 
diamond width and like they'll stick to the wax and then I don't know I mean I, I, I don't know I've never been able to figure out how to use these pens but um, but I know a lot of people like them so there you go that came with my Victoria's Moon kit an unexpected special surprise all right let's put this away but you see how the mat the wax melted uh, on the edge of the right here you can see it uh, it must have been quite hot and well it's 34 degrees Celsius here which is uh, close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit so it has this is like the, the worst part of summer so I'm not surprised traveling in an airplane hold and you know in trucks across uh, places I'm not surprised it the wax melted okay so that's the kit so I think you'll be able to see that now I can't see what you see anymore but I think we're okay so the canvas is in very very good condition it's a very it's a thick canvas it's it's uh, the kind that we're used to getting from uh, Chinese suppliers uh, the, the adhesive has been laid in two separate strips and one of the things I'm noticing here is that this is a different kind of adhesive that they're using I'll just show you the logo usually we, uh, we get a different logo so this is the logo that we see um, on this diamond painting. And I'll just show you the thumbnail as well, since I'm here. And I will show you, since we're here, the legend. So these symbols, sorry, uh, I wanna make sure it's clear to you that the fuzziness is um, my lack of focus with the camera as opposed to the uh, canvas. So it's got 32 colors, mostly blue, and um, I'm going to just take a, a better look at these symbols, but they look to be fairly clear. Yes, the symbols are clear. All right. So I take it that that's probably... I'm not sure which way is up. I'm assuming that that way is up. So let's flatten this out as well as possible on the bed. Now I could not see any rivers or anything like that which I'm glad of. I would not expect to see rivers in a diamond painting that traveled from its origin spot during the summer. I think we'll only see rivers when we get things that have traveled during the winter time. Okay, so uh, now the, guy, the drills are, the drills are all uh, individually bagged in Ziploc bags. And again, you see that these are primarily blue and gray colors. So we'll do the inventory of those as soon as I finish uh, showing you the canvas. So I'm going to peel back the um, paper covering. I think this paper covering is a little bit, maybe it's just a teeny tiny bit thinner than the other paper covering that we're used to getting. Um, okay, and I think I have to, where do I have to put, yeah, I have to, I have to lay it this way, so I'm going to make sure that you can see it all, yeah, you can see it all, all right, now the glue extends about, I don't know, one centimeter beyond the bottom of the diamond painting, which is fine, a little bit of washi tape or whatever. We'll uh, take care of that. 
gave me so much good and sticky. So just, and, and the paper is coming up nicely from the uh, adhesive. So no worries there. Oops, a little bit of a tear. As I was removing the paper here, there might have been just a slight overlap of um, adhesive. Yeah, there's just a slight overlap of adhesive from this side to this side. Uh, nothing that I'm concerned about. So yeah, this is coming back nicely. I'm just going to leave about, I think that's about two inches that I've got left here. Because um, I don't want the, I don't want the paper to come off completely. Um, so there you go. The diamond painting is nice and flat. And I'm not sure how well you can see that. I'm going to adjust the angle. I think that is a better representation of the entire diamond painting. Uh, it does extend, it is a very large one. It's 60 by 80. It, well, 80 by 60, because it's 80 across and 60 high. So this is a very, very large diamond painting that I have here. Now, uh, to show you the drill field, I will be removing you from the cradle in just a moment. Let's show you the dragon's head first. And we'll zoom in close so that you can see the symbols. I'm trying to do this slowly. Again, those symbols are very, very clear. There's not going to be any confusion. Yeah, very, very, very clear. Yeah, I like this. This is good. Um, so I'll be working on this starting probably today, just shortly after I finish recording this video, uh, because I've promised that I would do um, the post review as soon as possible. So I think what I'm going to do that's going to be a little bit different from most diamond painting unboxings is that what I'll do is I'll do the first three inches of this diamond painting and I will um, do a partial completion review so that you have a sense of uh, my experience with the first three inches and the drills that I use on those first three inches. and. Um, and then I'll do a post-completion review at the very end. I might do some drill and chats in between with this one. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll try. It's just there's a lot going on in my life right now. But when I am finished completely, I will do another post-review uh, that is um, a complete review where I give you all of my feedback about my experience working on this. Okay, so I think you'll agree that the, the field looks good here. The symbols are very, very clear. There's no confusion. I'm not going to have a hard time coming up with names for the pictograph things. So yeah, so this is, this is good. Okay, so I'm going to put you back in the cradle and I'm going to pause you while I get the drills ready to do an inventory. Everyone, I'm back. Um, my camera went out. So uh, what you missed was I measured the diamond painting. So it is, it's advertised as an 80 by 60. Um, they wanted to send me a very large one to show off to best effect the diamond painting, uh, the diamond paintings that they offer. And, uh, and so I agreed to that, and this was, uh, this was the best size for this one. I did measure the drill area, 
and it is exactly 80 centimeters across and 60 centimeters up and down. So uh, it is true to the advertised size. Um, I mentioned as well uh, in the part that uh, didn't record that the adhesive on the bottom of the diamond painting here uh, along the left side of the diamond painting. I, I'm not sure, I mentioned that here it's about a centimeter. The adhesive extends about a centimeter along the bottom edge uh, beyond the, drill the drill area. Here it extends from about half a centimeter to about a centimeter and a half here. Um, the upper uh, strip of adhesive is right at the edge of the drill field so you know that's fine um, this is nothing that a little bit of washi tape won't take care of now I was um, working on the inventory when the camera cut out so uh, I'll just I'll just do a recap of the colors because I know a lot of you like to have the colors uh, so let oh and I did want to tell you uh, there is no inventory sheet but there is an inventory uh, number on the bag of drills that matches the inventory number on the diamond painting and it tells you that there are 32 colors and again on the diamond painting here it's exactly the same inventory number and they weigh their drills according to the number of drills that they need for each color so I I'm just going to trust I'm not going to weigh these um, we'll find out if they're short uh, when I do the diamond painting so uh, let's just start this over again I'll just start the inventory all over again uh, because I've mixed up the bags and I don't know what goes where so um, number 19 is 820 it's like this purple violet color almost Right, and then number 12 is this pale green, blue, whatever, grayish green. Number four is 318. Number 15 is 798 number 31 3766 number 5 is 334 Number 10 is 518. Number 26 is 996. I love that color. It's pretty much this color that attracted me to this diamond painting the most. Uh, 26, yeah, I already marked that off before. Number 22 is 826. I'll mark that one off. Number 25 is 995. Again, just this beautiful electric blue. Number 17 is 803. Number 23 is 930. And that's Pippi gnawing on a bone in the background. That's the sound you hear. Okay, number 32 is 3842.
Number 30 is 3765. Let's get that up close. Number 27 is 3743. I checked that one off. Number one is 156, this beautiful lilac. I checked that one off. Number 13 is 792. Number 577 is uh, number nine. Number 24 is 939. I know I checked that one off. Yeah. Number six is 414. Number 21 is 825. Ooh, lots of these. Uh, number 29, 3761. Yeah, I've got 42 grams of this color. And I've got 39 grams of the 996. Did I check that off? 29. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, number 16 is 820, uh, number 20 is 824. Number 7 is 415. Whew. Another, this one's even more than, uh, than the 3, 3761. Number 11 is 519 and I've got 42.1 grams of that. Number three is 162. Number 18 is 813. Number 8 is 453. Number 28, 3752. Number 14, 794. And unless I drop the bag, this is the last bag, number two, 159. Okay, so let me just run my finger down the list here to make sure I've ticked off every color. Yes, I have. Okay, so that uh, I do have all of the colors and hopefully I have them all in the right quantity. Um, now, I suppose if I had really wanted to test this company, what I would have done is ordered a diamond painting that had a lot of 310s. Um, but I didn't, because 
the diamond painting that I'm working on is mostly three tens and uh, and I'm just it, it's breaking my heart to have to finish it so I wanted something different so I'm gonna turn on the flash for a moment and we're gonna take a look at the drills now just in the cursory look that I gave them while I was um, opening them I did not notice trash I didn't notice cupping I didn't notice dimples I didn't notice anything like melty feet or little tabs these drills look as perfect as drills can be now once I'm working with them I'm sure I'm gonna find some trash because we always find trash the it, I think it would be impossible to make diamond painting drills that didn't have some trash. Uh, but just looking at the bag here, they seem to have packed incredibly good drills. And I'm looking primarily at these big containers of drills because um, this is what's going to make the diamond painting either a joy to do. Okay, so here we have one that has a little bit of a melty foot on it. And that's fine. That's one that I've seen so far. Uh, I would be more surprised if I didn't see any at all. But I have not seen any dimples. And I haven't seen any tabs. Oh, okay, so here's a few dimples. But they're very minor. The edges of the diamonds are all straight. So that's really, really good. Let's take a look at another bag, smaller quantity. So these are darker. And I think it might be harder for the workers at the manufacturing centers to um, see mis like misshapen drills in the darker colors. So I think that might be why we sometimes have worse luck with three tens. Plus three tens are, you know, you get three tens in almost every diamond painting. So here, I think I see one that has a little bit of an edge to it. Um, do you see that sort of right in the middle of the screen there? Right above my thumbnail. Looks like it's got just the tiniest bit of a bigger of, of an edge that you know one wouldn't expect it, it to have uh, but that's not egregious and if there's only a few like that it's not it's not anything to be concerned about okay so these drills all look fantastic um, so I'm really happy now uh, one thing that I've noticed is I have gotten kits from uh, the Hua Can stores. Their kits are improved so that the drills are, are not, um, the drills are not uh, misshapen anymore and they don't have tabs and things. However, they're now smaller drills, so they don't snap together. They don't fit really beautifully onto the canvas. So that's something I'm going to be looking for when I uh, start drilling this, is how well do the drills fit on the canvas? Are they too small? I mean, if they're too big, uh, that's just a problem that, you know, I'll have to report back on right away. But if they're too small, it's not as big a problem, um, but it it does, it's not quite the same um, excellent effect. I don't, I'm hoping that these will be just perfect fits. These are really, really nice drills. Uh, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a delight to do because it's there's a lot of it and if it's not delightful oh my goodness all right uh, so there you go I, I'm not going to go through all of them but uh, but we've looked at I'd say over half of the colors certainly over half of the larger bags of drills and these look remarkably good There we go. Okay, that's good. Um, so that is that is it. That is the blue. I believe it's called the blue flying dragon. And um, there's the there's the thumbnail again. Um, I like everything about this. 
Now, uh, when it was delivered to me, DHL did charge me $21.13 for customs and processing fees. I have asked for that to be refunded because I don't think shipping should ever, like if, if you have to pay for shipping, I don't think you should be required to pay for uh, customs and processing fees by the shipping company if uh, the website does not say that you have to pay for that. I checked the Victoria's Moon website before I started this diamond painting looking to see if it said that customs duties would be the responsibility of the buyer. It does not say that. So to me that means that the customs duties should have been included in the price that Victoria's Moon paid to have this shipped to me. And they can take it up with the uh, shipper and hopefully they'll refund me my $21.13 Canadian. Um, but that is the only thing that has uh, that has been other than excellent so far with this diamond painting. As soon as my cleaner leaves, I will start working on it. And hopefully in a couple of days, I'll be able to record another video giving you my first impressions of actually drilling the Blue Flying Dragon. So that's it, my first uh, review uh, for a product that was sent to me at no cost. The entire set of videos that I make for this will be objective. I'll, I'll review it based on the same criteria that I have for all of my diamond paintings. I'll make all the same kinds of notes that I make while I'm drilling it and I'll be able to share all of my experiences with you as I go along. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. You can ring the bell for notifications. You know I love to get your comments, so please leave me comments down below. Okay, thanks everybody. I'll be back with you again soon. Bye-bye.